This is the settings screen for rates. Setting up rates is completely optional, but if you do work at an hourly rate, so you basically charge your customers at a per hour rate instead of a fixed price contract, you can set up your default rates here so they're quick and easy to add to a job. You can see here as an example, I've got default rates for an excavator per hour, construction labor, maintenance labor, uh, skid steer operator, etc. Uh, the nice thing about having this when you do hourly work is your crews will clock in and if it detects that the task is billed hourly, it'll then prompt your crews for the rates. So the crew could set up, okay, I'm on the, the mini X and I've got two laborers with me. It will not only track their time for payroll, but it'll also track their time for billing. You can spit a, a billing report out of LMN time. To set up a default rate, and this is under the settings, just your default rates, you can set up a custom rate for any job at any time, but these are your defaults. To set up a default rate, I just go down to the bottom here and I click add rate, and it asks me the name. So let's say I want to set up a rate for a horticultural technician. So I'll put in the rate name for hort tech. The rate could be per hour, or you could even do a flat rate, but I'll do per hour. And maybe my rate for a horticultural technician is $60 an hour. So I'll plug that in there and say, okay. So now it's set up here under my rates list. Let's show you where that comes into play in an actual job. So if I go to jobs and I open this sample job here, this grounds maintenance job, and let's say I wanted to do some work or I wanted to at least have the option to do some work at an hourly rate here. So I'm going to go to hourly rates. So and right now I've got none set up. So I can click add default rates and up comes these default rates that I set up in my settings. So I can say we, we bill a Hort tech out at 60 an hour and maintenance labor out at 45 an hour. Those are my two options for this job. When I'm happy with that, I hit OK and then they come here. So they're all set up for me. Now if I have a specific deal with this customer, like uh, let's say we negotiated $40 an hour for extra maintenance work, just click your maintenance labor set that to 40 and click OK and now it's 40 for this customer. So your default is just a fast way of setting up rates for jobs. Uh, it's not going to lock you into anything but those are your default rates that you can use when you're setting up time and material rates for certain projects. When you're happy with your rates just move on to the next one they'll save themselves automatically.